picture this. You're lying on a beach on your holidays. You're enjoying yourself. You've got some margaritas. The music's going. The sun's out. You're on the beach. You're relaxing. Suddenly, ping, your phone goes off. There's an email. It's from work. It's crisis emergency. People want you. What are your thoughts? Now, we can solve this problem straight away. Have you ever thought of having a 2IC? A 2IC is a person that deputizes for you in your absence. So when you go on annual leave or you're away for a prolonged period of time or you're on a secondment, a 2IC will come in and fill the void and essentially do parts of the job that need to be done while you're away. Now, traditionally, 2ICs have been selected just for CEO and top management positions. But what we need to start thinking about is having a 2IC in every level of management. Because what that will do, that will boost your bench strength of your team. It will actually make your team take ownership and responsibility for more of the strategic and tactical things that you need to deliver. It's going to give them an experience of walking in your steps to understand uh, all the stresses and pressures from above and sideways that, that you could experience. But more importantly, you're actually giving them an opportunity to develop which is really important. And that's one of the things that comes, comes through all employee engagement surveys is having the opportunity to develop, giving people a leadership role just for a short period of time. Now, how do we choose uh, a 2IC? But then more importantly, how do we actually train a 2IC? Now, so a 2IC needs to be somebody, and it comes to this criteria, right? Someone that has extra capacity in their work, someone that's looking for promotion or ready for promotion. Maybe they're a high performer. Um, you know, they've got extra uh, bandwidth. And I mean, there's no point cramming somebody in, like your high performer who's already maxed out, trying to cram it in as extra leadership responsibilities. They need to have the bandwidth to be able to uh, understand that and, and be able to to take on those responsibilities and they must be trusted and respected from the team okay so those are the you know essential criteria how do we train them okay so number one we need to make sure that you are really clear with the expectations around the responsibility um, you know and giving them the guidelines so when i'm away i would like you to do x you are to go to these meetings you're to file these reports um, here's your delegation of authority. So, you know, to, to sign up to maybe if it's for expenses or maybe you don't want them to uh, to sign off any expenses or annual leave. You've got to be really clear and, and frame the box, OK, around here is a 2IC. Here are the roles and responsibilities that I'm looking for uh, from you while I'm away. OK, um, so it's really important that you give them a really essential and critical brief. Now, this is a non-paid position. So you have to make sure that you tell people, look, this is a non-paid position. This is for your development purposes. You have to be really clear with that one. You need to spend the time to then um, sit down with them and have an effective handover. So there's no point doing it at five o'clock or four, you know, five minutes to four, uh, five minutes to five to say, oh, hey, John, can you come here? We need to do a quick handover. You need to spend at least an hour to two hours sitting down a couple of days before you go on leave for them to start seeing the jobs that you're actually doing and the jobs that are coming in. And then the and then articulate the expect, expectations. When you return, I want to, you know, we're going to book in two hours uh, on Monday morning for us to catch up. This is what I would like. I would like to know what's been going on. What are the critical decisions? What things do I need to sign? What do I need to be aware of? Uh, any other sort of uh, challenging situations or, uh, you know, successful accomplishments that that person's had? Because what that'll do will ensure a really smooth transition from uh, you being on leave to you then being at work. So it's really essential that you are uh, having a really critical and essential brief. It does come with a really, um, a couple of really important key factors. Number one, be clear around your expectations. If you're not clear with your expectations, this 2IC could jump out of the box and start attending meetings, start chirping up within senior staff meetings, for example, and then everyone's turning around and going, who is this? Who is this person? So you need to be really central with that one. Um, they need to know what their role and responsibility is, how long you want them to um, to, to act in this 2IC role for. Um, 
you need to make sure that you brief the other team members that, hey, Margaret is going to be stepping up for two weeks while I'm away on annual leave. Here are her responsibilities. Um, if you want any annual leave, go through her, etc. It depends on, on, on you. Uh, and just let others know. So your boss, let them know who's stepping into your shoes. Um, you know, let, maybe let your peers know if you're on a project committee, for example, you need to let them know someone's going to be deputizing to you. So it's really important that you are communicating who's going to be standing in for you. Bottom line. OK, bottom line for for um, having a 2IC is it's going to be look, it's a shift in your management or leadership style. Now you're going to empower others to act on your behalf. It will lower the stress, but at the same time, it will build capability within your team, build your bank strength. So you're actually building leaders as you know, as you give people these opportunities uh, to develop. It's not just a cert for in leadership and management that you need. These are real life experiences that you're going to get. Um, you know, you think around succession planning is really essential for a succession plan. You're identifying the next bunch of, of leaders it'll feel wrong because we've been conditioned to take control, let nobody in our, our, you know, our direction is the final direction and this is the way we're heading. So for you to uh, be vulnerable and to delegate all of that while you're away, it's, you know, it's a really vulnerable thing to do, but it's actually going to be building your leadership brand. Um, and people are going to be wanting to work for you because number one, you can communicate, you can delegate, you can shift the authority. Uh, the next thing that, you know, the bottom line is you're going to be linking the dots from strategy to tactical through to what they do on a day to day basis. So you're you are going to be linking all of those uh, links from strategy, from the big picture, uh, two to five year strategy, all the way down to exactly what they need to do and what the deliverables are. You're going to give them an experience of walking in your shoes um, to understand the pressures of of leadership and leading the team. Um, but really, it's it's going to empower your team to want to do more you're going to be creating a a, a a culture and environment in which they want to thrive you know and they know that you know these opportunities are going to be coming around for you to start developing them and developing their leadership style a couple of final thoughts is if you haven't got one consider getting or delegating to ic they don't just have to deputize in your absence. They could be a permanent to IC, or you can have it on a bit of a rotating basis. Uh, they could go to meetings that personally you don't want to go to. They can start doing some of the work um, that, that's on your plate. And let's think about this, about having that journey, which we talked about in the, one of the first videos. You know, um, we're looking at the third year journey now of your team being a self-managed team. So by giving those, giving them the responsibilities to, to lead and manage, in a controlled environment so you're not going to uh, start delegating all this responsibility to somebody who is not ready that's really important if they're not ready and they're the only person there you need to train them and i mean bit by bit and we're going to talk about that in one of the next videos so if you haven't got a 2ic consider getting one it's not just uh for senior managers it's for every every um, management level within the organization it's going to build capability and you're going to get a really great result from your team members